Today I'm sharing four tips for taking photos of your clothing. So clothing photography, if you are a business owner or if you are an actual photographer, uh, this will get you up and running for what to think of when you are shooting clothes. If you have any questions on like settings and stuff, don't forget to leave them down below. Um, sometimes settings are a little different and lighting is a little bit of a challenge. Um, so I won't be going over that in this video, but there's some other videos on the channel which I will link and then also put in the infographs uh, that you can check out. But yeah, I'm Isaiah and yeah, let's get started. So the number one thing is prepare your clothes. So if you have jeans, you have denim, if you have like jackets, like puffers, um, if you have sweatshirts, you know, just prepare your clothes. And one of the most important things that I share even on normal photo shoots is to bring a lint roller. So, so, so bring one of these, uh, super helpful for, as you can see, there's so much already on here. Um, and I bring one of these, I have a couple, I have a couple that I have um, on hand to bring to photo shoots and they're just super helpful in case there's in, ca in case somebody's moving and they get something on their um, on on their clothes what I find really helpful is to kind of figure out what kind of photos you need and planning that way planning as much as you can before even shooting um, so here's another one of my clients brands that they sent me, um, or they gave to me, uh, just one example of something, just any clothing that uh, you have can be photographed. In this first step, you should also make sure that your clothes aren't stained, there's nothing wrong with them, there's no rips um, that are not meant to be there. And that's important just because when people see something, they will immediately look at that. Maybe, maybe you can fix it a little bit in Photoshop, but um, if you don't have Photoshop experience, then that will also be difficult and just like take longer for you to uh, work on. So always work on it beforehand before like taking photos or putting it into an editor, which we'll get into in a little bit. The second tip is hire a model. So hire somebody to wear your clothes. Um, I used to, when I was younger, I used to take pictures of clothing and think that uh, people would be interested in getting it because it's just like a flat lay. Um, but you can do flat lays, but I would really recommend hiring a model or somebody to display your clothing and, you know, get somebody that matches your brand, matches like the feeling of the brand, um, your ideal like customer or audience or whoever you are making the brand for. Um, just look for a model, you know, you can go on Instagram and search like model in your area. That sometimes works, but oftentimes um, you might have to go through an agency and see if they have available, available models. Um, additionally, you can try and, so sometimes you're gonna have to pay and then sometimes you're not. Um, it really depends on the model and if they want to freelance and freelance and just build their portfolio or if they want to get paid uh, most more than likely it will be worth paying somebody to model um, because then you'll get good dynamic and like good movements out of uh, the photo shoot and you can get some great photos what, what i see often is people do one photo shoot with um, all of their clothing line and then that's their only photo shoot. So I would recommend doing multiple photo shoots, maybe with different models or the same models. Oh, uh, but yeah, go hire a model, go find somebody on the internet. Um, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to find them through Google. So I would use social media. You can also ask friends and family. Sometimes friends and family aren't the best people to ask or just like random people are not the best people to ask because um, one, they aren't interested in modeling. You can give that opportunity to, to somebody who wants to learn how to model, who wants to pose. Um, and somebody who's already experienced a little bit in modeling um, can do a better job than somebody else. Uh, but friends are also really good. Um, I use friends so many times, uh, or friends have helped me out. Um, taking photos and just like getting the hangs of photography and clothing so yeah 
but either either or are really good tip tip number three is going to be in the middle here so after you're done taking photographs um, you want to edit the photos edit any like blemishes out of the photo anything like anything that will draw your eye like negatively so uh, remove any of those type of things um, if you have an editor on hand you can use them or if you know somebody who knows how to edit you can also go to them oftentimes photographers if you hire a photographer they will know how to edit things out and there shouldn't be a problem um, I would just be specific on what you wanted to edit out and I would communicate that you want to make sure that there are things that can be edited out uh, beforehand just so that the photographer isn't like last minute scrambling to um, you know edit edit different parts out because oftentimes though that can uh, take a little bit to do as a photographer myself um, so adding on to editing tip number four is going to be cropping and alignment so both these are important because you want photos that look similar to each other, especially if it's catalog photos. So there are catalog photos that would go on your website that are like, they show what products you have available. Um, sometimes they don't have to be like the first one, the first like image you see, but you'll see them on there like as flat lays and you wanna make sure that sometimes what you can do is you can align all the clothes up if you have multiple if you have like a clothing line and similar like t-shirts and tees you can align them all up like in the center and make sure that they all look really good so you do this mostly in camera but you can also do it in Photoshop um, I would also get the cropping down so that the cropping is similar across all the products um, and that's just going to save you a lot of time and make it look very nice to people that are coming in customers that are coming in and buying your stuff compromise on quality so that means if you have to hire somebody for um, like a stylist or a photographer or models uh, to make sure that you get that down and also make sure that you also get in like the backgrounds and what what you really want out of the photo shoot to really make your images stand out and look good for the customers uh, the main thing is the customers and who you want uh, to reach with your products enjoyed this video if you want more don't forget to subscribe to this channel uh, there is a new video every week and sometimes twice a week so uh, yeah very excited for 2023 going forward and i hope you guys have a great awesome day Okay, so uh, I'm going to be starting a new series soon on spring photo shoots, uh, just getting ready for spring photo shoots and like fitness photo shoots, model photo shoots, fashion photo shoots, literally anything photo shoots, photography, spring, spring flowers, we're going to look at flowers, we're going to look at um, like what to wear and yeah, it's going to be really good. So subscribe to the channel. Um, spring is coming up. I right now it looks springy, but like I feel like it, I feel like it's cold outside. So, um, either one, 